Today I'm going to be talking about Duplicate Photo Cleaner, which is an application that does, well, exactly what you would expect it to do. It finds duplicate photos and it helps you clean it off. Now the version I'm looking at today is the PC version, but there's a Mac version. But it is worth noting that the reason I'm doing this is because I just transitioned from a Mac, which I've been on Macs for about 20 years now, over to a Windows 10 machine. Uh, so far the Windows 10 machine is great. Uh, but as I started to transfer my files over, I noticed I had quite a lot of uh, photos. And here you can see I had 488 gigabytes of photographs. Now the problem with that is some of them were duplicates. When I first made the transfer from Apple uh, iPhoto over to Apple Aperture, um, it had this weird thing where it started to duplicate certain libraries. And, and I wasn't able to complete this manually so I decided that I would just leave it uh, until I transfer it over to a new computer. Now that I'm on a PC before I import into Lightroom uh, I've even named the library Lightroom uh, I wanted to go in there and remove some of those duplicate photos I was trying to do it manually but it's really hard to do uh, so what I've done here is you can see over here I have my videos folder and my photos folder uh, but I created a duplicate removal test fo folder as well. Um, now the reason I've done this is so that you can see exactly how this application works. I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to copy and paste this. This way you can see uh, what I do so that we have a control version of it. And we'll just paste. So now we have a backup version of it. Now the application is already open. It is um, a small application. There is a basic demo where that allows you to delete up to 10 photos, which I was able to test. It worked, so I bought the full version. Now, you can see here in the duplicate removal test folder, which is open right here, I have two folders. I have uh, the initial photos, and then I have uh, a subfolder over here, and that subfolder is open over here. So you can see that I've got you know, just basic boring photos. Um, but what you'll notice here, there's a large version, and then there's a sometimes a duplicate version. And as, even as I flip through it, you can see I'm du I have duplicate versions. Now, what I've demonstrated here is when I was doing it in iPhoto, it would create a thumbnail and then the regular, and then the thumbnail and then the regular. So what I was running into was it was really difficult for me to find the thumbnails in regular and then delete them manually. Uh, so I've put them into this demo folder here called Duplicate Removal Test. And you'll see this other smaller folder of this very specific ones that have the thumbnails. And I'll drag the whole folder into Duplicate Photo Cleaner. And you can see it has uh, included the path name, which is the G Drive duplicate removal test, and I've set this after a little bit of experimentation to 76%. I'll explain that in a minute. And then you start the scan. It's relatively quick. In this case, it found 18 matches, uh, 34 photos, 12 have exact matches, and six are considered to have similar content, which is pretty consistent with what we just saw here. So what you'll see here are a series of exact copies. Uh, which is basically all I did. So I just check off the ones that are exact copies and I just work my way through them. And this has happened uh, a few times where it's the exact copy and I just find them and click the checkbox. And that's the first set. I'm going to show you that because each of them has the exact same file size in megabytes, 1.31, 1.31. Now watch what happens up here when I delete them. You'll see them actually delete out of the folder. So I'm going to click delete, and it gives me the option to go to the recycle bin or to delete them permanently. In this case, I'm just going to go to the recycle bin, and I click yes. And what it will do is it will move those duplicates, and you can see that the file just got a lot smaller. And it acknowledges that those folders are gone, those photos are gone. Now, the bigger challenge, of course, are the ones that I had shown you earlier, which are the originals in the thumbnail. Kind of a cool thing here, you can see that there's an original, and then it has a 91% match. This one is original as an 88% match. 
and what it's trying to match on is the file size difference. So the original was 505 kilobytes, and then the smaller one was 20 kilobytes. You can see these are really small photos, and I don't want to delete the wrong one. I've done that a few times where I've accidentally deleted the larger one, and there's not a lot of information here. These were done with uh, a very early digital camera. So I click on the smaller one. You can see 484, you can see 471, and 21. And then the last one was 464 and 20. Um, interestingly enough, I'm showing you this because you can check off all of them. I don't want this photo at all anymore, so I'm going to click on that one as well. And that references this library here. You'll see those get deleted. And just for the purposes here, I'm going to move to the file recycle bin. And there it is. We're left with three photos that I wanted to keep. And in this case, it gives me the confirmation that I deleted the smaller version. I can undo this if I wanted to by going undo, and say undo, and it'll return the photo, photos just like I wanted them to. And you can see it working a little bit as it tries to get out of the recycling bin. And it's spinning. This could take a while. Oh, not responding. Uh, not very good. It doesn't seem to like not doing it. Oh, there it is. It replaced the images. And those are the photos again. And in this case, I'm just going to do one more time, get rid of each of these photos that I don't want, including those. I'm going to click delete. I'm going to move to the recycle bin. And they're gone. So that's it. Uh, that's a quick preview of Duplicate Photo Cleaner. There are quite a few other options. Uh, you can dig deeply into them. That's not what I do. I just wanted it to satisfy a basic function. Uh, as I import 400 gigabytes of uh, photos into Adobe, uh, I'll be using Adobe Lightroom. So we'll see how that process goes. Until next time, I have to think of something clever to say at the end of this. But yeah, until next time. See ya. Bye.